Welcome back for another Mikey Tries, uh, the uh, series where I try popular things that are currently trending on the interwebs, such as the TikTok and other various social media platforms, and see if I can suck the fun right out of them. That's what I do. Uh, today, I've been informed we're going to be doing art hacks, popular art hacks that you can see, and uh, I don't know what they are. Uh, I I am not allowed to prepare for these videos. I've been told I'm going to be seeing art hacks and then trying them for myself and uh, see what happens. So we've already tried color mixing and that was a blast. Let's see what I can do with this. So my take on this is, I mean, I've been surrounded by art supplies my entire life. Jerry's Artorama is my family business. Uh, and I'm always interested to see how people are trying to save money. And look, in my videos, I make a big... Uh, push in a lot of them on not wasting time, not wasting money. You know, when we're doing videos and I'm talking about products and stuff, things you need, things you don't need. So, you know, if some of these are good, uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I, I think that's a good thing. My MO is I want you to do art. <laughs> it's that, that's, that's the biggest thing. So my concern is that if you do these hacks, I don't know what they're going to be. Will they actually be helpful to you or not? That, that's what I'm testing out here for you today. And then do they do what they say they're going to do? Because color mixing that really quick, that, that was very hard. And I'm smart. My mom said so. All right, what now? Okay, so it's called acrylic and cornstarch hack. Ooh, I clicked it, so it might not be called that anymore. Heat one and a half cups of water cornstarch until it's thick with two C's. Mix it a little bit and bam, so much better. Okay, so the hack is to heat up corn syrup or cornstarch and then add it to your acrylics and it makes it thicker, makes it opaque. Oh, that doesn't sound like a good idea. doesn't make it opaque I mean it adds a white agent to it but it's it's a it's being applied much thicker this is a hack this is a hack uh, art hacks is what these people are yes. I'm already unimpressed all right so we're gonna do this all right try it. hack on and hack off okay so there's something important here that I didn't mention that because it's written in really teeny tiny uh, they're saying that this is good for cheap acrylics cheap acrylics so I guess that's part of their why this is good because the acrylics are cheap and I'm sure I don't starch things with corn but uh, I'm sure that's not very expensive either all right so we have some cheap acrylic and we have some cornstarch and some hot water and I gotta stir it till it's thick it's already feeling thick <laughs> well it does dissolve pretty easily <laughs> oh I just scar faced this place oh now it's getting thick two C's <laughs> is that I mean there's it's it's chunky but is that because theirs looks a lot more opaque than this I think I got to add more One eternity later. I don't know. I've got OCD. I gotta keep going. We're we doing this for the next seven days. Okay. Okay. All right. I gotta. I have to move on with my life. I've been stirring this for an hour and a half. Okay. So we're gonna. Oh, this doesn't even shake. All right. So let's look at this cheap paint. Okay. This is gloss acrylic paint. Quick drying, easy cleanup. All right, I guess the first thing I'll do is, um, you know what? It's it's about making it opaque. Does anybody have a Sharpie? We should make some lines or something. Uh, do I want a vomit bucket? A water bucket. Uh, I'm gonna need both. So, wow. with that being said. <laughs> I'm afraid I was gonna land in the face. Not afraid I was gonna hit him in the face. Not afraid that I was gonna hurt somebody. I didn't want it to land in the paint. <laughs> All right, as you can see, I've made a small, modest batch of 
that to go with my <laughs> huge pile of paint. So I put these two lines down using the super black um, pens. Now I'm just going to put some of the straight acrylic. Oh, good, it's still wet. Uh, not so quick drying after all over these lines. And let's just kind of see opacity. Well, that's a stiff bristle. I like it. Try to paint it a little thicker. All right. I mean, it is a softer body paint. All right. So like, I'm not going to like have huge, um, be able to build huge peaks with this and there'll be some minor brush stroke retention but overall that's what I would expect for a you know inexpensive soft body paint okay so now I've done that uh, and I guess we're gonna add some of this to that and we're gonna make this with that that made a it wasn't me okay should I just go for it like right in all right All right, so they were adding this to their paint. So the, the paint ratio was higher to the gel. This is doing wonderful things for the ferrule. What do you think, Katie, should I add more? I like your attitude. All right. I have thickened the paint. So I guess first I should try to do what I did here before. That's exactly what I expected. The paint has been thinned down with something that is not opaque, or excuse me, not pigment. So now it is even less intense. And now we'll add the thick. Well, I got some nice little chunks that I didn't have before. <laughs> this did not make it more opaque or give it more body. I'm just going to go, I have this pile right here, this stuff. I'm going to add as much, I'm going to try to get it as thick as possible. I'm going to add, so right now it's not about the color intensity. I'm just trying to see if I, this actually does create a heavier bodied paint. Okay, so that's that's globby. <laughs> what is this supposed to do? It doesn't work. It's a fail. All right, let's let's take a step back, okay? Because we've probably been <clears throat> doing this now. I hope we've edited this down to under an hour. At this point, um, what is this hack actually trying to do? What are we trying to do? We have cheap acrylic paint, and we're trying to make it thicker and more opaque. Okay, well, let's look at the science behind that. Okay, if you're adding something that's not the pigment, you're cutting it. You're cutting it like adding water to a bottle of whiskey to make it look like you didn't drink it while your father was out of town. Okay, not that I ever did that, Dad. So you're not going to get opacity, and you're not going to get color intensity. Um, also, you're working with cornstarch, which I don't know how flexible it is. Uh, it might crack. It's a, an organic um, <clears throat> compound. And the other thing is when you mix water, not to mention water with anything else, with a polymer, you are breaking down the structural integrity of the paint, making it less likely to uh, maintain water uh, fastness, meaning it won't re-wet um, and it might crack. I mean, it's, it's really not a good idea. So, it, <laughs> so what, what is a girl to do, as I often ask myself, if you want to paint inexpensively uh, and, and, and thicken up cheap paint? Well, I think part of the answer, I don't know how much this is. Let's say that this was, a, was like $2. $2, $2. For a buck or so more, you could have an artist grade paint or maybe at least an artist student grade paint um, that is a heavy body paint. 
And if you think about, so you're like, okay, well that costs more money. Well, look at the amount of time it took me to mix this, this, okay? I mean, everything's a time balance equation, okay? And your, your time is more valuable than you think. I've often said in these videos, time is the only thing you can't make more of. You know, it is finite. So if you are spending time doing this, which, what am I gonna do with this now? I hate being wasteful. We're gonna have to drink it afterwards. Um, don't try that at home. Uh, you, I mean, it's taken a lot of time. Plus, you've gone to two stores, you've gone to your craft store, and you've gone to your supermarket. You've had to take the time to heat up water. You've had to take the time to mix it. Instead of just spending a buck more and getting a paint that will not be that. Did I make a point there? Like, I hope that came through clear. You see, they hoped I said it. They didn't tell me what to say. Unscripted. Okay, well, this art hack is a hack. Let's try another one. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next one. That took 35 minutes. All right. What even was starting? At least. All right, this is called burn art hack. You're really gonna let me do this after the uh, watercolor paper incident of 2019? Well, it's pretty. I gotta watch that again. Okay, so you set fire to the paper. It looks like it's like our art synthesis type paper. And then you kind of remove it like charcoal. I mean, what are you going to do with that? It's, it's not archival. And as soon as you even probably spray that with a fixative, it will mess up. I mean, it makes for a good little video, but in terms of making real art, uh, I shouldn't say real art. Uh, I mean, art that's going to last outside of a video. I mean, that, that, that's not going to last, man. Plus... I am prone to burn things down. We should show a clip of that if we can find it. Because uh, that was... Well, this is slowly turning into a problem, actually. Uh... <laughs> so, chemical reaction. Okay, we need it. We need to seriously dump water on it. Put it, okay. in, put it in the bucket, this now. Is... Ah! God, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was bad. Uh, am I doing this? No. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're not doing that one, or are we? Are we doing? Some, are we going to try to do it a different way? Yeah. If this involves me touching charcoal, I'm going to have a problem. Can I burn paper? I'd rather risk burning the whole thing to the ground than touch charcoal. We're going to smudge, aren't we? Oh, it's willow charcoal. Oh, and it fell. I really sometimes wish my grandfather started a cleaning business. All right, so we're gonna try to do something similar without setting any fires, because that just seems silly. Yeah. All right, so I've got my Soho Urban Artist marker paper, and I mean, willow charcoal. Oh. oh! You should see Katie's face. She is so happy with herself. Oh, I, I'm getting like goosebumps because it's like it's like nails on a chalkboard a little bit to me. Goosebumps are better than lotion. Oh. Okay, there's a nice little secret about charcoal, okay? And I'm going to share it with you right now because all these people out there think I'm talking to them, but you know it's just me and you. Charcoal is already burnt. You don't have to set it on fire. It's already been set on fire. It's just burnt wood, man. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to risk the integrity of your paper, the integrity of your lungs, in terms of smoke, or risk burning your house down. Okay, so there's that. I gotta put this away. Now, you can smudge it. I don't know why you'd want to. I certainly don't want to, but here I am. 
Do we have something for me to dip in it? I want a flower, man. Did you see what they were doing? Oh. Or a fake flower? So we've taken a fake rose and added water so that the paper might be fooled into thinking it's a real rose. Here we go. Well, I don't know how else to put it. That's art. What's the point we're trying to make with this one? Not to burn your paper. Don't burn your paper. Perfect. I don't think that if we burn paper, we would get that effect. Agreed. Like, you got to be burning a very specific kind of paper a very specific amount of time and be a specific amount of bored to do that. Okay. Well, yeah, you could still carve out with your fingers. Yeah, this is stupid. This is just stupid. I think that people are making these videos because they're fun to watch, but I think they're faking it. I don't think they're actually helping people make art. Am I onto something with that, or is that not a novel idea? Let's move on with this because I'm, I'm sad like this rose. Oh, uh, this already looks like it's gonna be stupid. Uh, all right. This one's called Dip Pen Made with Soda Can. Let me repeat that for those of you in cheap seats. Dip pen made with soda can. Here we go. Love your slit. That's what that's what it says. Love your slit. Cell. Love your cell. Oh, they actually finish it in the video? That makes it 100% better. Okay, I can't help but notice that they don't show you how you cut a square out of a can and how many safety hazards, even for the most carefulest of people, like when she's opening it up, it, it, it worries me on a psychological and emotional level. Um, nibs are not expensive, and that's not going to last but one session, and it's going to, because it's made out of aluminum instead of an actual harder metal, it's not going to be consistent in its shape, and, and you can even see that it's inconsistent at the ink distribution because it's not a real nib. Nibs have a split at the end for the ink to distribute evenly. This just seems like a bored person that wanted to do something that maybe they can't drive or never learned how to read. What are you gonna make me do with this? Do you want oh God, she stood up with a can. <laughs> You're real. I'd rather burn paper. <laughs> I'm curious, when you're looking at these hacks with me, put in the comments below if you've actually tried this or would ever want to try this, or if there's something I'm missing, I need your help. I really don't want to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is take one of these not so cheap exacto accurate blades and risk my life to save a buck on a nib. And now I've got to cut out a triangle, uh, a rectangle. I'm unhappy with my life choices. Now I feel like I should try to make it a little bit more of a rectangular shape. And now we've got shrapnel. Oh, it's stuck to my hand. Oh, it's get like it's like clawing in like little shards of glass. Okay, now I gotta cut it. So we're going to go a little down, and then we're going to come back up. Okay, and then we're going to go 
it down again. Oh, how am I supposed to open this without slicing my face open? Well, I do want to say that I don't think that you guys have a lot of faith in me. You've got all this stuff prepared, but no ink or paper. Oh, look at you. Oh, you do have faith in me. I just want you to know you're also kind of wasting your pencil. Okay, that was uh, really deep and not in a poetic way. What the f <laughs> Let's see, love you. Or love. <laughs> love. <laughs> love yourself. Love yourself enough to buy a nib and not waste your life doing this. Because that time I talked to you about, I'm not getting this back. We're, we're editing this down for you. I could be out doing things that are fun instead of risking my fingers, cutting cans, mixing cornstarch with water. Love yourself and get a real nib. That's it. That's the message here. Well, that why it did look a little nice. Yeah, in case you're wondering about if there are many options out there for nibs that you can take for yourself that cost a fortune, like under $10, I mean, you might find yourself without a nib, and that's sad because literally you can just get so many freaking nibs for so little money. Look at that. Came right out of the box. Designed to hold ink. Will give you an even flow. Won't cut you. See that? I don't even know if there's any way. Can you get do a real tight zoom in? You see that little separation? Are you picking it up at all? Yeah, yeah, you can see it. Okay, that is what helps the ink flow and distribute evenly, which you're not getting from this. <laughs> this is a shiv for prison. This is a fine art tool. Not as crude or clumsy as a blaster, a more elegant weapon from a more civilized age. Okay, let's move on. This, 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 this is just upsetting. All right, let's watch this last hack and retire from life. Okay, <clears throat> portable palette. I can't wait. Fine drops. Okay, so first of all, we're supposed to believe that you're acrylic painting outside, which you can do. It's just, um, generally speaking, you stick to media like oils, watercolors, and pastels when you're painting outside because acrylic just dries so fast. It appears like they're trying to make their own little miniature travel stay wet palette, but there's no sponge in it, so there's nothing to keep moisture in it except for that hermetic lid which is only gonna keep the moisture that's already inside it in it, so it would probably skin over. Not to mention the fact that as soon as you move that, those little soda caps are gonna go everywhere um, because they're not taped down, easy enough fix, I guess, but I think the other thing is that you have no mixing area. So I think this is like the kind of thing where it's like, oh, doesn't that look convenient, but is it functional? I, I don't think it's functional. 
I don't know what that sound was, but I'm not looking forward to it. What are we doing? It's not bad? I've been promised it's not bad. You have options. So first you have to, I mean, to make this work, you have to find a can that would be the right shape to fit seven two-liter bottles of soda in perfectly taut so that they don't schlop around. If only there was something pre-made for an artist. Is there a better way? What's this? Let's take a look, shall we? There's got to be a better way. Okay. You could do that. You could. Uh, but if you're going to be taking your art uh, to go, uh, there are some other options out there. This is a flower palette. Now, these, I would say, I mean, it's going to do the same thing as that. I mean, the same thing, only you're going to have, uh, you know, larger areas, potential mixing area. It's actually two, it's a two for two for one. So you can say like, well, that's, you know, smaller. Well, when you open this thing up, bam, you've got more paint and mixing area, I guess, uh, if you're going to be using acrylic. The other thing is with shapes like this, and you're not going to be able to do this with soda caps, when it dries on a palette like this, it peels right off, baby. It's super simple to clean. So that's great, although I will say that this on its own will likely not keep your paints moist. I could see maybe putting some wet sponge, like those uh, uh, magic erasers, you know, um, just, a, just a wet piece of sponge, a damp piece of sponge in there, and taking that, and that would keep it for the day. Um, this is a watercolor palette. Uh, as you can see, it has watercolor in it. Uh, I guess we couldn't afford to get a new one. Um, these as well, uh, I actually have these at home. This is one that I have at home, and I keep a small piece of uh, sponge in it, but I use it for watercolor, not acrylic. You can use it for acrylic, um, but I use it for watercolor. Now this here, this is designed for acrylic paint. It's an airtight mixed media palette. It's going to be bigger, obviously, than that tuna can, uh, but it's going to give you functionality, okay? And when I mean functionality, I mean actually usable. I mean, that looks really great on camera, but if you're actually going out to paint and you can't mix your colors and you can't, like, test your colors, you're going to be really frustrated. Now, because this has a gasket, let me show you. Because this has a gasket, right? It's going to form a tight hermetic seal. And as you can see, it also comes with just a small piece of sponge. That's all you need. You dip this in water. Here, I'll show you. I've got water right here. I didn't even realize it. You squeeze it out and you just leave it right like that. Okay. You load this up with your acrylics. You put the cover on and this will probably keep your paints wet. I would guess for maybe up to two weeks closed, which is pretty cool. Um, and not to mention that functionality, okay? You've got a huge mixing area. In fact, you've got two mixing areas if you want to use the lid. I mean, if you're going to go out and spend the time and effort to paint plein air, that in itself is a huge process. Why are you dicking around with little soda caps? I mean, to save a few pennies? I mean, that seems wasteful. That seems more wasteful to me. And I think one of the things that really frustrates me about hacks like this is it makes it look fun and easy and accessible. And then you're like, well, I'll try it. And then you do it. And maybe, maybe you get it just right. You have a can, you have the soda caps, you have the paints, you get it just perfect. Everything works. You spend all that time, you go out there and then you're like, well, how do I mix my paint? And then you're like, well, I don't want to do this anymore. And like, that's the worst thing that could happen in my opinion, that you lose the motivation to do art in the first place. So these hacks are really, <laughs> I think they're kind of dangerous, you know, to, to the arts in general. I mean, I, I know that's a very um, strong statement. It's dangerous. I mean, there's a lot of things that are dangerous out there. But, I mean, that way of thinking of I'm going to save a few pennies here and, and, and make a craft out of taking my art places or, or doing these little hacks, you might find yourself more frustrated than it was worth. And you might talk yourself out of doing art at all. And that's a real shame. So... These art hacks are very fun to watch, but I didn't see one of them that I felt was like, well, that was definitely something like, you know, lesson learned, you know, a, a teachable moment. I, I'm, I'm, I'm unhappy now and I, I want to go home. All right. So 
Have you found art hacks that were useful, helpful? You know, tell us below in the comments. Um, have you tried any of these art hacks? Did you have different, better results than me? I am one guy, I'm doing my own shtick up here, but maybe it worked like a charm for you. Um, the whole point of my videos, and I think most of the videos, if not all the videos in the Jerry Zodorama YouTube channel, is to motivate and inspire you to do more art, try new things, venture out. So by sharing those ideas below, it's so important that you might inspire another artist that might not have thought of the things or done the things that you've tried. So please put those in the comments below. Like this video if it was fun, helpful, and subscribe to our channel to see future videos. And ring that bell if you wanna be notified because we'll put them up randomly. Surprise, surprise, surprise. We got live things that just pop up and if you miss it, you miss it, baby. And of course, as always, follow me on Instagram at Mike Not Jerry, where I just do me. That's all I'm gonna say there, I just do me. Is that a video? Yeah. Ming, I need your advice. That's great. That's great advice, Ming. <laughs> okay, well, Ming thinks it's great, so I guess cut, cut, cut. I am so tempted to drink this. I don't know why. Don't do it. It's got paint in it. I dare you. Yeah, I dare you. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. Give me a cup of water. Like, I, I, I'll do Are it. Are you gonna throw up after this? I hope no, so. Don't throw up. Don't, don't throw up. Don't do this. No, 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 no Ben. I dare you. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you suddenly not have twenty dollars? Uh, let, let me prepare the budget. Yeah. This is now turned into a jack <laughs> skip. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it it congealed on the top. Ben? Is it green? No. There's so many things to say right now. Yeah. But only one thing you should, nothing. Never show this again.